Next, you write down extraction of silver. The ore we use for this process is argentite ore. You must remember this name also. What ore we are using for extraction of this silver, uh, copper and all. So argentite ore we use. Okay. The formula of argentite ore is what? Can you tell me? What is the formula of argentite ore? AG2S. Correct. Formula is AG2S. Right, and we done the we do the extraction extraction of silver by cyanide process. Cyanide process. This process we also call it as MacArthur and. Forest process, which is not important, obviously. Write down in this silver compound, write down in this silver compound dissolved in sodium cyanide. In this silver compound dissolved in sodium cyanide, which forms a complex salt which forms a complex salt. The formula of the complex salt is an AAG CN2. This is the complex salt forms. Right? In this sodium com silver compound dissolves in sodium cyanide and forms a complex salt in presence of air now by addition of zinc now by addition of zinc silver precipitated from this complex addition of zinc silver precipitated silver precipitated from this complex see the flow sheet here First of all, we'll have this argentite ore. AG2S and we'll do the concentration of it. Concentration of ore. The method we use here again is froth flotation. Yes. Yes, it is. Froth flotation process. Okay. So in this, what happens, you see the reaction here, the powdered ore that we have. We add some water into it. Plus we'll add pine oil and air same process again it is and again in this what happens the froth carries sulfide particles that will take out and will have that uh, you know concentrated ore after this concentrated uh, ore or concentration process next we have is like i said cyanidation cyanidation okay and for this cyanidation process we add sodium cyanide into it ag2s and we add nacn into it sodium cyanide 
रिवर्सिबल रिएक्शन एंड वी गेट कॉम्प्लेक्स ऑफ सोडियम साइनाइड एन एज ए जी सी एन होल टॉइस प्लस सोडियम सल्फाइड एन ए टू एस दिस मॉलिक्यूल वी कॉल इट एज सोडियम अर्जेंटो साइनाइड द कॉम्प्लेक्स इज सोडियम अर्जेंटो साइनाइड दिस एन ए टू एस अनदर रिएक्शन वी हैव एन ए टू एस सोडियम सल्फाइड कंबाइंस विथ ओ टू इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एच टू ओ कन्वर्ट इन टू एन ए टू एस ओ फोर एन एच विथ सल्फर okay now the next method we have precipitation we'll filter it and we'll get this compound and then we have precipitation of precipitation of silver with zinc with the help of zinc reaction in this process is two molecules of na agcn2 plus zn and it gives silver metal plus na2 zn cn4 basically it is a displacement reaction so zinc is what zinc is more electropositive zinc is more electropositive than ag silver and hence displaces it right the ag that we get here is dissolved in alkali solution alkali nitrate like kno3 and we get ag metal metal on cooling okay last step here is again like i said electro refining electro refining and for this the anode is again impure metal cathode is pure metal and electrolyte we use here is agno3 with hno3 this is the electrolyte we use pure silver deposited at cathode and in this pure ag then all of you okay next one write down extraction of of zinc for extraction of zinc we can use many metals here many ores here like we can use zinc blend zns we can also use 
zinc, zincite, ZNO. We can also use calamine, which is ZnCO3. Right? Calamine also, when you heat this, it converts into ZNO and CO2. And then we use the process as zincite. That also we can do. Okay? So extraction of zinc, it's very simple and very uh, you know easy this one is. The extraction of zinc involves, first of all, again the same thing, the concentration of ore. Okay? Suppose I am taking zinc blend. ZNS and we'll do the concentration of this ore and concentration here it is done by gravity settling process gravity method I'll write down that again we have discussed okay gravity settling first we'll use gravity settling after this we'll use froth flotation Both we can use here. Gravity settling and then froth protection. One more thing here, you must write it down. If Fe2O3 present as impurity, as impurity present, then we use magnetic separation method if it is present. But generally we use gravity method or fourth fourth rotation. Okay, so concentration we do by this. And then we get concentrated ore. Concentrated ore is then we'll use roasting of it. Roasting is heating at high temperature in presence of uh, oxygen, right? So the reaction here is you write down ZNS plus O2 gives ZNO plus SO2. ZNS, some part of it also converts into zinc sulfate, ZNSO4. ZNSO4 then on high heating again converts into zinc oxide ZNO plus SO2 plus O2. Right, so eventually we are getting oxide, sulfur dioxide and all. Okay, and generally we heat this at 900 to 1000 degrees Celsius. Right, copy down this, we'll go to the next page. Done. Next step will have reduction. So zinc oxide that forms here get reduced with carbon and forms Zn plus CO, carbon monoxide. Or if you take CO, it also converts into Zn with CO2, carbon dioxide. So we get this metallic zinc at around 1500 degree Celsius. So when you, when you get this zinc, which is impure, so to get pure zinc here, we'll do the electro refining of this. The last step is Electro refining. Right? Electro refining. Anode we use. Anode we use as impure zinc plate, cathode. We use pure zinc plate. Electrolyte we use here, 
is uh, ZnSO4 with dilute H2SO4, right? And uh, the zinc metal obtains at cathode, pure zinc. That is the method of extraction of zinc. Done, all of you? Okay. One last question for today. You tell me the reason here. Cinnabar and Galena and Galena on roasting often gives often gives their respective metals. Their respective metals. But zinc blend zinc blend does not. Can you tell me the reason for this? What is the reason? See, first of all, what is this cinnabar? Cinnabar is HGS. Galena is PBS. And zinc blend is ZNS. Right. So on roasting, what happens when you heat this at high temperature? It actually forms oxides. So the reaction we have ZNS, sorry, the reaction we have HGS heated with HGO oxides of it, it gives Hg plus SO2, right? So two molecules of this and three molecules of this we get. When you have PBS, plus PBO. So we'll get three PB plus SO2. ZNS plus ZNO. Three ZN plus SO2. Right. So here the reason is the oxide of HGO and PBO is unstable. This HGO is unstable. PBO is also unstable oxide. But ZNO is stable. This is a stable oxide. Since it is unstable, so it converts into this HG. So this reaction possible, this reaction possible. It is already stable, so this reaction won't take place. And that's why we won't get zinc metal in this reaction. So this reaction is not possible. So reduction of ZNO into this is not possible since ZNO is already stable. Got it? Yeah, right, right. That's the reason. So that is the application of a Lingam diagram. Okay, you should know uh, this a bit. Which one is up, which one is down, that gives you this information. Understood? All of you? Right. Okay. So guys, we'll wind up the class here. Right. There are a few more uh, metals given in NCRT extraction of that. You can go through on your own. Okay. And that, that, that will finish the entire chapter. Okay. If you have any doubt, we can discuss that also next class. Otherwise we'll go with amines or any other chapter like biomolecules. Okay. But you must read NCRT for these kind of chapter. NCRT is more than enough. Okay. Finish NCRT completely for metallurgy. Understood. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thanks a lot for joining. See you.